Is the French Union focus worth doing? Hello everyone, I am Hatless Spider. Today we are going to be looking at an interesting event the French can cause to happen, the French Union. Now this gives the opportunity to France's colonial possessions in North, West, Central Africa, as well as Syria and Indochina to become full French citizens. Now, this does exclude some of France's possessions, such as the Caribbean holdings, Micronesia, Madagascar, Djibouti, and the territory in India and China. But if the entire French Union was successful, although highly unlikely at only 0.038% odds for success, it would represent an immense amount of land and population. The odds for each territory is as follows. Central Africa, 45%, West Africa, also 45%, North Africa, 25%, Syria, 15%, Indochina, 5%, and that's it. While none of these odds may seem particularly stellar, the cumulative odds to get at least one territory is at 81.67%. So, more than four times out of five, you should have at least one success, meaning at least one region joins you as a core state when you attempt the French Union. When I say region, each of these includes several territories, and some include many possible releasable nations. For instance, Syria would include both Syria and Lebanon, North Africa would include Morocco and Tunisia, and West and Central would both include several releasable nations. Now to the main question, when should you and when should you not do the French Union? The important thing to note here is that encourage immigration and French Union are mutually exclusive. This means that you cannot get both, unfortunately. And encourage immigration can be a particularly important focus as it removes the national spirit that France starts with, full employment. Not only does this spirit give negative 25% recruitable population, but it also gets progressively worse as if you increase your conscription law past limited conscription, you will start receiving debuffs to your production capability starting at negative 10%. Now the good news here is that encourage immigration is not the only way to get rid of full employment. There is also the foreign guest workers focus available through the Little Entente branch, which removes the full employment spirit. So if you are doing any path other than Little Entente, I would recommend not doing the French Union. However, if you are doing the Little Entente, in my opinion, I would highly recommend that you do the French Union using the following recommendations on how to maximize the gain from doing French Union. Okay, so how to maximize what you gain from French Union. Not everyone knows this, but when the French Union is successful for an area, if you have created any puppets in the region, these will be instantly annexed. And if during their time as a puppet, they use the generic focus tree to get free dockyards, civilian, or military factories, you will gain access to these instantly as the land is cored. Since West Africa, for instance, contains something like five or six releasable nations, this can be exponentially powerful. Although typically from what I have seen, only those nations along the coast or with at least two provinces will take the focuses to get any free factories or dockyards. For this reason, and the fact that you will get high resistance in the case that a territory rejects the French Union, I recommend upon start of the game, if you are planning on doing French Union, you release as puppet all the nations possible within any area that could potentially be cored. Also of note, you should also release Algeria, as Bloom Violet has a 100% chance that Algeria will accept the Union, so you can pick up some free factories from them. This can be done regardless of whether you are doing French Union or encourage immigration, as Bloom Violet comes before the mutually exclusive choice. Psst, it's free real estate. Now the odds even to get two territories in one game are still relatively high. So, I, so imagine if you get West Africa as well as Central Africa Cord. Both have many releasable nations within them that have potential to get many free factories and dockyards. You could be looking at an increase of 30 factories or more. If you get incredibly lucky and get three to five territories cored, this could absolutely explode your economy. And if you get Indochina on the 5% chance, it is amazing for trade to have core rubber and tungsten. 
This means that French Union is potentially one of the best focuses in the entire game based on the RNG, but the fatal flaw is its limitation of the full employment spirit. If I thought they should change anything about this, I would say that if any territory is successful in becoming a core, that should remove the full employment spirit. Just imagine the amount of free movement of peoples that would have happened after such an event. It just makes sense that there would be a worker overload rather than a shortage at that point. All right, that about wraps it up. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. And remember to leave a like, subscribe, and comment for the algorithm. See you guys soon.